Darth Kermit here with part 3 of my Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes series on the Separatist Might Territory Battle. This part will cover the Wat Tambor special mission in Phase 3. If you find these videos helpful, please like, share, subscribe, and let me know down in the comments what else you'd like to see me cover. This battle is much easier than the Ackley in Phase 2, so you don't need relics to complete this, though I recommend having your Geonosian Brute Alpha at, at least gear 12. The rest can be gear 10 and 11. I'd prioritize Spy and Sun Fact for higher gear for more damage and a larger overall health pool for the team, respectively. Obviously, I do have higher than required gear here. This is because they can be used for a Grievous Fleet, the Ackley battle, and GBA is one of the best pre-taunting tanks in the game and can be used in many high-level counters. As for mods, unlike the Ackley battle, you do not need good mods for this mission. But as always, good mods and high gear will help make up for bad RNG. The modding strategy is very basic. Speed on GBA and Poggle. Crit chance and speed on Soldier. Crit damage, crit chance, and damage on Spy. Survivability on Sun Fat. For this event, the basic strategy is to spread Poggle's ability block around as much as possible to anyone who can really mess up your team. Priority for ability block is Arc Trooper because he can do large AoE damage with Daze. Then Clone Sergeant because of his high damage AoE with turn meter removal. Then Pons, who has a moderate damage AoE that applies speed down and crit chance down. Then Jedi Sentinel with her moderate damage AoE. And last, Clone Sharpshooter, who can apply Armor Shred and then do massive damage to a target that already has Armor Shred. While keeping those targets ability blocked, you will need to take out other priority targets. In order of priority, these are Clone Trooper Medic, so he can't revive other enemies, Mace Windu, who can do massive damage if he attacks the same target twice without that target being cleansed of Shatterpoint in between the attacks, Barris Offie, who can cleanse one of her teammates every time she takes a turn, Kiari Mundi, who does massive damage to debuff targets, and then down the previous list of priorities for ability block. One other important bit of strategy is the lineup. Because we're mostly concerned about landing Poggle's ability block, we want him to go right after Geo Soldier, who applies to Nasty down on his basic. So we want our lineup for this event to be GBA, Sunfac, Soldier, Poggle, Spy. This way, theoretically, the only time Poggle doesn't hit right after Soldier is on his own turn. And with all that done, let's get to the battle. Alright, first up, we'll go ahead and use our Hailfire tank. There's no real good reason not to. You'll get to use it multiple times. It applies a bunch of uh, different debuffs, and we'll get to... Um, give Spy a bunch of turn meter every time we use this. All right, first things first, let's get some ability block down on the clone sergeants. Uh, let's go ahead and do big damage to the commander and try to get an ability block on him before he gives turn meter to the entire team. With Geo Soldier, you almost always want to use the basic ability because it applies tenacity down and every time it applies tenacity down on his turn, it will feed 35% turn meter to Geo Spy. And since our spy is sitting at zero turn meter, we want to go ahead and do that. Uh, now let's go after our medic. And now that we have ability block on medic, he can't revive anybody anyway, so we can feel free to just pick off whomever we want. Need to get ability block on Clone Sergeant. There we go. Uh, we'll go ahead and get an ability block on our Jedi, Jedi Sentinel. And you can see how Barris cleansed the Sergeant on her turn. So that she doesn't do it again, we need to start landing some damage on her. Optimally, she's the weakest target on her team, so she will just cleanse herself like she just did.
we are going to go ahead and heal up so that we go into round three with high health and protection. Now is where it starts to get difficult. We have two ARC Troopers out in this wave with a Medic. So we need to make sure that we keep these ARC Troopers ability blocked. Since we're starting with Poggle, um, we don't need to worry too much about cleanses. So we're going to go ahead and give everybody offense up and call Brute to attack twice. Because he does the most damage on our team. Uh, this time we're going to try to land a bunch of damage as opposed to applying this damage onto Medic. Because we can keep Medic ability blocked so he never gets the chance to revive anybody anyway. Now is the hard wave, and it's still really not that difficult. Okay, so we have one clone sergeant. He's our priority. We have Pons, who's also a priority for ability block because we don't want him to get off that AoE that gives all of our guys crit chance down and speed down. Now we're going to go ahead and heal up so that we cleanse that shatter point off of Geonosian Brute. Gotta remember to keep Medic Ability Block. Um, this time we'll go ahead and, since Mace is already debuffed, we'll go ahead and use Spiteful Strike on him to apply Blind and Daze. This will also feed a good bit of turn meter over to Geonosian Spy. Let's get some damage over on Kiati Mundi, and then keep going after Mace. And that's it. Again, this is a very easy battle compared to the Acklay. I hope you find this helpful. If so, please like, share, subscribe, and let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see from me in the future. Till next time. I find your lack of rainbow connection disturbing.